To start this task, draw a box 15 across by 20 high. You want to draw a line down the middle of the box. This is at 7.5 centimetres. Next, you want to draw a line across the middle of the box. This is at 10 centimetres. Make a mark about 7 centimetres down from the top of the box. This is where you want the side of the head to meet the edge of the box. The top of the head is wider than the chin, so make this curve quite gradual. Try and make this curve symmetrical. When drawing the bottom half of the face, this is a sharper curve. Again, match this on the other side. You're going to place your eyes along the middle line. There's a 15 centimeter line and five eyes should fit. So that is three, six, nine, and 12. And your eyes should be in the second and fourth place. The eye is like an almond shape. Draw the top half of the lid above the line and draw a slightly straighter line along the bottom of the line. Repeat this process for both the second and the fourth space on the line. Next we're going to be drawing the iris. The iris is a perfect circle and you only see part of it. So you have to imagine when drawing it that you would see a perfect circle only that it's hidden beneath the eyelid. Draw a soft line just above this to show the rest of the eyelid. When shading the iris, you'll notice that the outside edge of the eye is slightly darker than the inside. So I'm starting with that first and when shading, I'm curling my pencil so that I get a softer line. The iris and the pupil are concentric circles, so you have to make sure that your pupil is exactly in the centre of the eye. Please don't make this too small, you don't want it to look like a dot. I'm also leaving a little circle of white where the light is catching the eye. Next I'm adding some texture into the iris, just between the edge of the iris and the pupil. Now for some added detail into the eye, here I'm adding a tear duct and we're adding a little bit of dark tone in this inner part of the eye. From a line from the inside corner of the eye up, that's where you want to start your eyebrow. You want the eyebrow to be thicker at this inside part and then curve and gradually get thinner as it gets to the outside edge. Try and draw each individual hair rather than fill in a solid shape. When drawing the eyelashes, be careful not to draw them as long curving spikes. The eyelashes tend to clump together slightly and form slight little triangles that get gradually bigger towards the outside edge of the eye. Try and draw them lightly just at the inside corner of the eye and then just slightly longer as you get towards the outside edge. When drawing the bottom lashes, keep them very light and just slightly curved. They'll curve inwards and then outwards. Repeat this process for the other eye. Next we're going to be drawing the nose. 
As the face is 20 centimeters long and the nose is three quarters of the way down the face, then measure from the middle line down by five centimeters. Next, draw two lines straight down from the inner corner of the eye to meet this line. This is where your nose is going to take place. At the middle intersection, you want to draw a slight curve. Then you need to draw two lines at either side of the nose, curving upwards. Watch carefully how I join these two curves together with two smaller curves. Next, you want to take the side of your pencil and create a soft curving shadow from the inside corner of the eyebrow down to meet the edge of the nose. Keep this fairly light and allow it to blend out. Take this shadow from the nose around the eye and this is what will start to make the nose look more three dimensional. Repeat this process for both sides of the eye and nose. In the nostrils, you want to add a slight shadow inside the nose, but gradually allow this to fade out. When drawing the mouth, measure two and a half centimetres down from the nose. The mouth should be approximately six centimetres, the width of two eyes, and should go from the middle of each eye. Start by drawing the top lip and you should start in the middle and do a slight curve just below the nose. Join this line to the two corners of the mouth. Draw the rest of the top lip, but don't start right at the outside edge. Start about halfway through and curve this downwards. When drawing the bottom of the lip, start at the bottom middle. Keep this line flatter and then work your way out to join the outside edges of the mouth. Don't just add tone to the lips, try and add some texture. So make your tone slightly curved in lines. Add a soft dark shadow between the lips. You can use a rubber to add some highlight to the lips to make them look wet. 
add some curved shadows at the outside corners of the lips. And add a shadow below for the chin. Next step is to add a shadow just from the nostril down in a curve and this starts to form the cheeks. Below the nostril you want to add a shadow that reaches towards the lip in a slight curved C shape. The ear reaches from approximately the eyebrow down to the nose. Make two marks where the ear should be and then rub out the line of the side of the face. The ear should follow the shape of the face and should not stick out too far. Add details and shadows into the ear. When drawing the hair, you want to follow the shape of the face. The hair should go approximately a third of the way down the head. Try and draw each individual hair and gradually make it curve round, making sure that it goes down past the ears. You can use a rubber to add some highlights into the hair.